Well, I was personally speculating that this weekend would probably be the time to see something in terms of a teaser or silhouettes or even a trailer regarding a January update. If there was going to be one, it would pretty much have to be this weekend, and that's exactly what we have. As usual, courtesy of Kaz's Twitter, we have three new silhouettes. Of course, it will be dropping next week, presumably Thursday as usual, which means we'll probably get the trailer on Wednesday, which of course I will be covering. I will be reviewing the entire update on Thursday as well, and then reviewing the individual vehicles. Some of you have already seen it, it's definitely very controversial, and two out of the three we already know anyway. And again, speaking to the point of controversy, they're two Vision GTs. We already knew those. The Genesis Vision GT, which I talked about on the channel before, and of course the Bulgari watch-inspired Vision GT, which we also knew about as well. Two very different approaches. The Bulgari is much more like driver-oriented, sports car level, lower horsepower kind of stuff. And then the Genesis is wacky. It's like full-on exotic supercar or hypercar level in terms of power, performance, and looks. So very different ends of the spectrum there. And then the third one, I mean, it almost seems like whoever decided on what the cars were going to be, be it Kaz or whoever else, because he may delegate that, almost chose this one for the meme. Because, you know, it's January, you don't expect that much from January. But at the same time, what appears to be a Suzuki Jimny is a bit of a weird choice. <laughs> and if it seems like I'm not being as annoyed or as angry about this kind of choice as I usually would, it's actually because I'm mixed on the choice. See, the issue that I have, and I think some of you might also fall into this category if you think about it for a second or two, it doesn't actually bother me that they would add a car like this. I think that's totally fine. I mean, there's a reason why two out of the 10 best cars of 2023, which I recently counted down in the game, were novelty cars, the Alphard and the High Medic Ambulance. There's no problem with having those vehicles in Gran Turismo. Those are what many of us love from the older games, like the memes of the Daihatsu Midget, etc. The problem is, when you have so many fewer vehicles, and apparently, as we keep on being told by all the apologists, it takes so long to make every single car in the game, even though, yet again, that math doesn't work. If it takes six months to make every single car, and they only have 100 employees, there cannot be thousands of cars in Gran Turismo, or even the amount that we have now. So... Clearly, there is something wrong with the math there. At the same time, though, here, this would have been not a problem were it out of 10 cars, or even 6. People would have complained, because people always do, but people complain about the Vision GTs anyway. The issue, I think, is when you deliberately choose 3, and then make it these 3. That's a weird choice. It's almost like not only are you not communicating that well, even compared to Forza or whoever else with your community, but you're actually taking it a step further, and it certainly seems like trying to actively antagonise them with your pick. Like, you know damn well that there are cars which would have been far, far more better received than a Suzuki Jimny, but they chose to go with that one. It's going to be an interesting car to use, and I actually do have reasonable expectations for it being a fun little thing, maybe wide arch kit, off-road tyres, perhaps even an engine swap down the line, and ultimately, to speak to this update more in the broad sense, I am curious to see what else arrives. Will we have a circuit, for example? We know that there are at least a couple of circuits which were leaked or rumoured or due to arrive, like Red Rock Valley or Villeneuve, so that could save the pack for some of us, we'll have to see. And of course, besides that, we'll also have to see what else is added. Presumably, probably maybe five new engine swaps, we'll have to see what those are for, maybe some new events, maybe something else. So overall, we'll have to wait until Wednesday for the official release of the trailer, most likely, and then of course I'll be giving you my full in-depth thoughts on Thursday of the overall update, and then talking about the individual cars in the following days. I'd love to hear your thoughts, I'm sure there are plenty of opinions on both sides. I can imagine this time around being maybe a little bit more on one side than the other, <laughs> on the negative side probably, and I, of all people, will certainly not criticise people for not being happy with this update. For me, it very much is what I said earlier on. If this was part of a 10 car pack, I don't think as many people would care. It's that when you make it this few and then choose these ones, it seems like you're actively trying to annoy people. Maybe they're not, but it certainly comes off that way. But that's it for my thoughts and this bit of news. Stick around for more on the channel, of course. And for now, thanks for watching.